Hello, hello, good morning. And if you are watching the recording on this, feel free to skip ahead about a minute or so to get to the content. Give you all a moment to get on and to also grab my notes. And get ready. And oh, let me do this. Uh, 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 uh. I'm getting better at this. Super exciting. Okay, great. So uh, when you pop on, let me know who you are and where you're from so I can shout you out and say good morning to you. And if you have a question, of course, leave it in the comments and I'm happy to answer them. Welcome, welcome to the Daily Revision Morning Show. My name is Lysandra Everett and I'm your host. I am here Monday through Friday, nine o'clock-ish. And when you tune into my show, you're gonna hear about lots of things. Uh, mainly you're gonna be hearing about tax topics. It's tax season right now and people have tax questions and that's what I am doing. I am a tax professional. So I have been answering uh, tax questions every day for the past two weeks, I do believe. <laughs> but hey, if it helps you, I'm happy to do it. Um, but otherwise, I guess when it's not tax season, you're going to hear about a lot of other stuff uh, about business, about leadership, about how to just to do this whole life thing better. And you know what? Taxes are a part of life. OK, so with today's topic, we're going to talk about volunteers um, because we have, uh, you know, I'm connected with a lot of people who volunteer, but they're volunteering not knowing that there are some deductions available to you. So that's what this broadcast is about. All right. So if you are an avid volunteer, whether it would be for your church or for an organization, hey, Shemet, um, for an organization like Salvation Army, Goodwill, something like that, you have tax deductions available. So here's the deal. With volunteering, you have to vo volunteer for a qualified organization, just like some of the ones I just named, whether it's, um, like I said, uh, you know, Goodwill, Salvation Army, your church, or, you know, Boys and Girls Club, you know, a qualified organization for you to volunteer for. You get deductions. You can deduct your mileage and you can also deduct any expenses for which you are not reimbursed. What does this look like? So let's say, for instance, that you are a board member at your church and you have to go uh, to meetings that are not that don't coincide with anything else that you have to do at church. Well, those types of miles would be tax deductible to you. Let's say that you uh, also stop and pick up the donuts, right? <laughs> if you stop and pick up donuts for church on the way to church, uh, then the miles between your home and going to pick up the donuts is tax deductible. And if you don't get reimbursed for the donuts, those are tax deductible, okay? Um, but you think about uh, the mileage that you, you know, that you put in. So especially during the holiday time, there are a lot of uh, volunteer organizations that ramp up. You know, I think about the Salvation Army and the bell ringers. So if you happen to be a bell ringer for the Salvation Army, you get to deduct the miles from your home to um, where you are volunteering and back again. So, you know, there are lots of people who spend lots and lots of time volunteering. I have a friend of mine who, who generally spends about four days a week at church. And from, her, from my house, now I live, you know, two miles from church. She lives about 20, okay? And she's up here all the time. So, you know, and I was talking to her like, hey, are you tracking your mileage? Because you can be deducting some of that stuff, right? So, oh Lord, y'all, here comes the snow. I am so not excited. Okay, sorry, had a moment. Anywho, so when you're volunteering for qualified organizations, you can deduct the, the mileage that that you put in and understand this too. And it's, it cannot be something that's, um, let's say, specifically for your enjoyment. Because one of the questions I had uh, from somebody, well, you know, I teach Sunday school. Well, that's something that you, you know, you're you're going to church anyway. So you teaching Sunday school is not really a... 
a volunteer type thing. Good morning, Arvella. Hey, little sister. So you teaching Sunday school is really not a deductible mileage because you're going to be going to church anyway, right? But it, like I said, if you're on a church board or if you have to go represent your church at some regional type function, anything like that, if you don't get reimbursed for those miles from the church, then you can deduct those on your taxes. And I want to say uh, volunteer mileage is 14 cents a mile. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's around that somewhere. So the miles that you put in to go volunteer for a qualified organization. Why do I keep saying qualified organization? Because that's just the tax law. If you go volunteer to help clean up Susie's yard, okay, that is not tax deductible mileage. It's got to be a qualified organization. And this, you know, this is one of those those sticking points where um, people kind of get upset like when they, um, you know, give to, you know, they might give to a needy family. Giving to a needy family is nice, but that is not tax deductible for you. So where if you gave that same amount of whether it's money or food to a church, or, uh, you know, again, a qualified organization, then where that would be tax deductible. So I hope you, you know, you understand the difference there. Um, because there's got to be a tax ID number and all of that stuff. So it's got to be a qualified organization. It's not just you decide, okay, well, I'm just going to go volunteer to, um, you know, go wash somebody's dishes. It doesn't work that way. It's got to be for a qualified organization that you get these deductions for. So you can deduct the mileage and any expenses that you incur that you are not reimbursed for. Okay. So that's the long and short of it. So if you've got any questions, the link to book a tax consult is in the comments. Uh, feel free to book a tax consult so we can talk about your personal situation. Because although I come on here and answer these questions in general, it's really for presentation purposes, okay? You really got to um, talk to a professional about your particular tax situation because everybody's is different, okay? I, the tax lady, have a tax lady and my tax lady is fabulous, okay? Uh, side note. Okay. But anyway, uh, so that's it for your volunteers. So if you find that you're really, you know, you're spending a lot of time volunteering, start tracking those miles because nuts and bolts is that's still an expense to you because it's in the wear and tear of your car. You're buying gas to get there. You know, if you're, uh, you know, donating goods to these organizations, this stuff is an expense to you and you ha you can donate it. Now, if w with the donations, I talked about this as well, with it, even with the donations, it's got to be to a qualified organization up to, gosh, I got too many numbers running around in my head. Nuts and bolts is, I think it's over $500. You need a receipt. Don't quote me on the $500. It's tax season. I got numbers running around in my head, so I don't remember them all. <laughs> I don't remember all the exact numbers right now, but you, um, but you have to have a receipt. And for your miles, you definitely got to have a mileage log. Your mileage log is going to have the date, uh, where you went to and, f you know, for what purpose. So when you track your volunteer miles, it might be, uh, going to, uh, such and such mall on, whatever date to ring the bell for two hours and come back home. Right. And then you write down that mileage. So you keep a track, keep track of that. So if you're a heavy volunteer, you, you got expenses, those are deductible and that's how you do it. Okay. And you got to turn this stuff in. Okay. Oh, and they're deductible on your schedule a. Okay. Uh, and so that's it. You guys, um, you know, volunteers do good work and there are deductions available to you along with everything else. So when we're talking about all these deductions, you know, you think about all the aspects of your life and if there's a tax deduction for it, baby, you better take it. Okay. Cause they might not always be there. Boom. All right. So I got to go. Cause you know what? I got to go to the grocery store because it just happens to be time for me to go grocery shopping. And look at that. You see it? So it's starting to fall. And we were forecast to get three inches yesterday. And this morning they said, oh, no, it might be five to eight inches. Who's not excited? this girl. Okay. Well, all right. So listen, I got to go. Thanks a lot for tuning in. And I'll also upload these on my YouTube channel. So if you're watching me on YouTube, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. Thanks, Mr. Penn for sharing. I appreciate you. And if you got some value out of this, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. 
and I will see you all next time. Bye.